Black exploitation, mockbusters, and yes, even mexploitation films. Perhaps one of the most prolific genres in the movie world, exploitation films are usually fun, eminently quotable, and borderline horrific. Machete is a most welcome addition to this wonderful genre. Not since Grindhouse have I had so much fun watching an intentionally bad movie. Warning, footage in this review contains gore and coarse language. Go-to bad guy Danny Trejo is our hero Machete, an ex-federale who lost everything at the hands of go-to cliché actor Steven Seagal. Now he works on the cheap, even cleaning out septic tanks for 120 bucks. Machete is approached by Jeff Fahey, a.k.a. the Lawnmower Man, to kill a scenery-chewing Robert De Niro, who is an anti-immigration senator with a hard-on for Mexicans. Like all movies of this type, the man screws over our poor, downtrodden, ethnic hero who is then left for dead. Thanks to the mystic abilities of Michelle Rodriguez and his own badassness, Machete recovers and begins his meteoric rise through the ranks of those who wronged him. As he continues his bloody advance, he brings along, or has sex with, or fights, an eclectic group of characters played by Cheech Marin, Lindsay Lohan, Jessica Alba, and newcomer Don Johnson, who reminds me of that guy from the Miami Vice TV show. Machete is a sensational bit of filmmaking, and praise the Lord, it should not be any other way. The action is outrageous, the gore plentiful, and the viscosity of the blood could replace all the oil in my car. Robert Rodriguez has long since been the man for independent cinema. His style is the epitome of cool, even at its most absurd. He can get the most from his actors, and the action is stylish and beautiful. If you love Sin City, Desperado, or even Planet Terror, Machete does not disappoint. The acting is not too over the top, for the most part. It's a bit hard to take Jessica Alba as a tough-as-nails chick, but other than that minor quibble, I'll do a great job at keeping you entertained. The standout is Cheech Marin, whose part is small, but he has all the best one-liners. The only thing not perfect about Machete is that it's too perfect. The movie is a little too smooth and polished for an exploitation film. The action scenes are too well choreographed, the gore too stylized, and most of the nudity sex scenes like any kind of, well, exploitation. It's funny for a reviewer to say this, but I was expecting a little less. Minor detractors aside, Machete is still one of the best movies I've seen all year. I was never bored or disappointed, and neither will you be. So take this movie, and this review, with a grain of salt and a shot of tequila. For Headless Critic Films and DBJ Digital, I'm Matt Anderson.